A finance executive, who is the last of seven men to be dealt with in a case where husbands with wife-sharing fantasies had their own partners, drugged and raped, denied a rape charge against him on Tuesday. The 44-year-old, O, is on trial for conspiring with the main perpetrator, J, so that he can rape J's wife at J's flat between 2010 and 2011. J is the central figure in a network of men who met on online platforms and discussed their wife-sharing fantasies in private and group chats. He admitted that between 2010 and 2018, he fed his wife sedatives and had her raped by five men, including O. But O disputes the events surrounding the rape he is accused of committing. He is the only one of the seven men not to plead guilty to the conspiracy charges against him. O does not dispute eight other charges, including those for posting obscene images in a thread titled, Wifey Pig, to share on online sex forum Semiboy. These charges have been stood down for now. It emerged on Tuesday that prior to the alleged rape, Jay's wife had consensual sex with O on September 2, 2010, after getting to know him online. Prosecutors said that without the knowledge of Jay's wife, Jay had provided O with her contact details and told O to court his wife. Using the fake persona of Brad Chan, O contacted the woman and started to chat with her online. About a month later, they met for dinner at Pungal Park. Prosecutors said O then told Jay about his meet-up with Jay's wife. This unusual arrangement shows that the liaison did not arise from a mere desire by the accused to have sex with the victim, said the prosecutors. On September 2, 2010, O met Jay's wife for lunch at East Coast Parkway. After lunch, O took her to a nearby resort hotel where they had consensual sex. O did not tell Jay that he had sex with Jay's wife in his absence. Prosecutors said the evidence will show that O entered into sexual relations with Jay's wife in a bid to get her to agree to threesome sex with Jay being present as well. However, the victim did not agree to the accused's request for a threesome and cease communications with the accused, said the prosecution in its opening address. Prosecutors said O's desire to engage in sex with the victim in the presence of her husband lies at the heart of this case. J will testify that sometime between 2010 and 2011, he made his wife take a sedative, which made her unconscious. J then messaged O to invite him over, telling him that his wife had been drugged. Prosecutors said J will testify that O raped his unconscious wife in his presence and will also testify on what he later shared with others about these events. The victim will testify that, to her knowledge, the accused has never been to the residence. She did not know and did not consent to the acts in the charge, said the prosecution. The prosecution will also present digital forensic evidence including O's forum posts from 2010 to 2019 on wife sharing and his internet search history on the topic of drugs and rape. The prosecution added that the Skype communications between O and J speak of their continued plans to drug the victim so that O could have sex with her. In these chats, O also offered his wife to be raped by J. The six other men, including J, are serving between 3 and 29 years in prison after pleading guilty to their respective charges. Four of them were also each sentenced to between 20 and 24 strokes of the cane.